Okay, because we've basically got, um, we've, it's either, you know, like a rod or a cone, right? And then it has like that. And then we've got another cell called a bipolar cell. Okay. All right, so what ends up happening is actually, so this is our rod and this is our bipolar cell. Okay, and this is like, we'll say this is the like optic nerve, right? So this kind of works opposite way of you, as at least I would think, right? Um, so at rest, when the rod is not stimulated, it is actually sending a neurotransmitter called glutamate, right? So this is when it's not stimulated. It's constantly secreting glutamate. And what glutamate does is it inhibits the bipolar cell from firing, basically, right? So when the, um, <clears throat> when the rod is stimulated, it causes a drop in glutamate release by the rod which helps the bipolar cell to then fire and send, um, I think it's, is it acetylcholine? Um, whatever, I, I, I don't know what it is, but it sends a signal to the optic nerve and sends a signal to the brain, right? So it's kind of like, this is constantly like inhibiting, but when light hits it, it stops so that the signal can kind of pass through. Instead of like, it's signaled, which causes this to signal that, which causes this to signal that. It's kind of like this is stopping this from being signaled until light happens, and then this goes down, which causes the bipolar cell to then. Um, I think the bipolar cells are just really sensitive, and they're, they're easily activated um, to generate action potentials, right? And so it's easier for it to work this way than just by like signaling, then sending a signal than another one, right? Like closing the signal would be faster. Yeah.